action begins Friday, September 20th at 4 on KTLA 5. And now, traffic by Spectrum. Well, let's make sure we know about the drive. Sometimes eastbound side isn't always that busy, but on a Friday, that may be a slightly different story. We know for sure it's going to be so hot in some of those spots. Let's take it to that eastbound side of the 210, right at the 215 northbound side. So if your plans take you here, we have reports of a crash that's still sitting in lanes, but it's not a terrible drive, right? Looking at your ride along the 14 where things are filling in, but again, not a solid ride, so that's good. Just slow as you approach that 514 split. You see what the 118 is like. Leaving the 5 freeway is actually busier than normal heading into areas of see me and one thing we know for sure these are going to be the toasty hot spots well everywhere will be right but in particular act in palmdale and points a little bit farther to the north for sure to talk more about the weather and everything else that we can think of on a friday i'll send it over to you kirk <laughs> thanks ginger yeah as you're talking about some of those toasty hot spots you could see the 118 there and angel on twitter says the 118 is a freeway. It shouldn't be a daily high temperature. And I think we all agree uh, with Angel as we get into this forecast. Very, very clever, very impressive. 118 in the San Fernando Valley expected to be your high today. We might even break through 104 downtown LA, 85 along the coast, already 84. In fact, a number of areas already showing temperatures above 90 degrees. Orange County, 103, 113 in the Inland Empire and the high desert. Uh, we're going to see a high of 108 for today. Well, that's the latest in your forecast for now. Jessica, back to you. Kirk, thank you. The remains found under a home at a nudist resort in Redlands have been confirmed to be those of a missing couple. Dan and Stephanie Menard disappeared from their home in the Olive Dell Ranch nudist resort nearly two weeks ago. Prosecutors charged their neighbor, 62-year-old Michael Sparks, with two counts of murder and two special circumstance allegations. A motive for the murders is still a mystery, but neighbors say the Menards and Sparks were involved in an ongoing dispute over a tree. Today, gas service could be shut off to more homes in Rancho Palos Verdes and a community there due to shifting land. Earlier this week, you may remember the governor declared a state of emergency for that area. KTLA 5's Alina Bovian live from Rancho Palos Verdes with the very latest details. Good morning, Alina. Good morning, Lou. Well, one of the impacted communities right here behind us, just take a look. This is the Portuguese Bend community. And not only do you see the sign here for the closure because of the landslide damage, but also just how unstable here the street is now as far as the impacted communities take a look this is a uh, 29 homes in the western sea view area 25 homes in the portuguese bend beach club the shutoff goes into effect three o'clock today and according to socal gas the timing is indefinite so this brings the total number of homes here at rancho palos verdes without natural gas close to 200 and that's just for this week alone the utility company stating that it's simply not safe as you just saw to offer residents natural gas right now given the danger associated with the land movement engineers estimate that the land may be moving up to 4.5 feet per month at its current rate and that is about 88 times faster faster compared to October of 2022. There is no timeline for when service will be restored. In the meantime, SoCal Gas is warning residents to not attempt to connect to other fuels on their own, like propane, to their natural gas meter. The expansion of the gas shutoffs is the latest blow to residents here. Over the last few weeks, Southern California Edison also shut off power to some 250 homes, forcing residents to either evacuate or buy expensive generators. On Tuesday, Governor Gavin Newsom did proclaim a state of emergency here in Rancho Palos Verdes to free up some of the resources to get this problem solved. Now back out here live talking about resources. Some of the community centers in this uh, area are offering free charging stations to residents. So if you have a cell phone that needs to be charged or a laptop, you certainly can go there to at least get some work done. Again, as far as the shutoff goes, it is indefinite. That's the very latest. I'm Lena Bowen reporting live here in Rancho Palos Verdes, KTLA 5 News. Alina, thank you. A construction worker remains hospitalized in serious condition after being stuck in an eight-foot deep trench for six hours in yesterday's dangerous heat. Because it was so hot and there was no shade, rescue crews, including 85 firefighters, took turns trying to get him out. The ordeal started just after 11 a.m. at a residential construction site on North Catalina Street in Los Feliz. Fire officials say they had to take extra precautions to make sure they didn't injure the man during the rescue. But part of the issue was one of his legs was underneath a void space or a cutout. 
So with a boot on, we, we couldn't get access to